trying to create a school of the future, problem solving was a daily task. And from solving problems came wonderful unintended consequences that uh, helped us to improve and change and grow. There's never been a, I don't think that's gonna work. It's always been a give it a try. And I think with teachers that have that attitude, that filters down to the kids where the possibilities are so open and endless. Before it was trying to learn a set of um, exact rote things where now it's really um, just trying to explore our thinking and our learning and becoming more, more uh, thinkers and, and doers other than just memorizers. Discovery is just a really bright, open place where I think kids are really excited to come to. Um, there's this vibe when you walk in the school of excitement. The kids are always trying new things, doing new things, and I think the teachers really encourage that and kind of push the kids to think outside what school maybe used to be even five years ago. Discovery School is really built upon um, a collaborative learning environment that includes five learning commons and that means that each of our grade level teams of classrooms are, are really centered around a collaborative learning space. And, what that does for our school is that our kids are no longer tied to one classroom, one teacher. It really invites kind of a flexible environment where all kids are working with all teachers in that grade level and uh, kind of a coming and going of a collaborative space within their classroom and then with, within the learning commons. We're a student-led classroom, so uh, the kids in our classroom lead our classroom. Um, basically, students teach teachers. Like, if students figure out something, they can learn from the teacher. So the teachers have a new project, maybe, if yeah. someone created a project for their kids to learn. I know a lot of kids have tried starting ideas, and we've probably failed like three or four times, but we don't give up and we keep trying. Well, this is a, a school that uh, is certainly a 21st century school. We spent a lot of time on the design of the building uh, itself and then felt if it was going to be a 21st century building, we needed to have 21st century furniture and equipment and technology. And so that's when we reached out to Meteor and uh, they put together a nice package for us that allows a lot of flexibility, a lot of different seating types and room arrangements. It, kind of fit perfectly with how instruction has changed over the last 10 or 15 years. It used to go from, you, this is your desk and you sit there and you work very quietly, where now it's very often my kids are talking to one another, they're getting up, they're moving, they can sit anywhere, wherever it works best for them. When you allow kids that kind of freedom, um, there's ownership in what they're doing in the classroom. That's what I see and that's what I hear from the voices of students. Do you want your students to be able to leave the schoolhouse with the ability to think and to problem solve and to collaborate and to work in an environment that is well beyond the 21st century? If the answer is yes, then we have to reconfigure environments and shapes and ways that students learn so they leave with those skills. I really feel like Meteor helped us bring our philosophy together with a vision that was deeply rooted in everyone's a teacher, everyone's a student, and that we were open to taking risks, but we also had direction into uh, what works for a collaborative learning environment. And on any given day that you walk through the halls at Discovery, there are students standing, sitting, working with the teacher, working in small group. And I think Meteor helped us recognize how that can all fit together in a school system. Our students have a voice, they have something to teach, and they have something to share with others. And so how I think it's going to spread into the world is that our students are confident and articulate and collaborative.
that our students are empowered.